Hello friends, let's read a book. This one's a cool one. It's a it's a fabric book. It's called The Little Engine That Could, retold by Waddy Piper. Non-toxic ink, swashable. A Peggy cloth book. How fun is this? I bet we loved this when we were babies. It's so soft. Very cool. This will be hard to hold up. Chug, chug. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train for she had a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled with wonderful toys to play with and good food to eat for little boys and girls. <laughs> There's a big thread on there, sorry. <laughs> this fabric is hard to read to you guys for. She puffed along until suddenly she stopped short. She could not go another inch. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do? So the funny little clown jumped out of the train. Here comes a shiny new engine. I'll ask him to help us. Please won't you pull our train over the mountain? Do you think he's gonna help? <laughs> but the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I'm a passenger engine. I only carry fine big trains. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. And off he steamed to the road, to the roundhouse. Uh oh. All the dolls and toys felt very sad until the little clown called out, the passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another train. Perhaps he will help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please help us. Our engine has broken down. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? But the rusty old engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I'm making myself tired, <laughs> just talking like that. <sighs> the dolls and toys were ready to cry, oh no. Here is another engine coming, called out the little clown, a very little blue engine. Maybe she will help us. Oh, look how beautiful she is. What a pretty color, blue. The very little blue engine came chugging merrily along and stopped when she saw the clown's flag. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, she sounds nice. She listened to the cries of the dolls and the toys and she said, I am very little, but I think I can. I think I can and she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly they started off. Puff, puff, chug, chug. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, up, up they climbed until they reached the top of the mountain. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy in the morning. And the little blue engine smiled as she puffed steadily down the mountain. I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could.
and she did. She believed in herself and she wanted to help. I think that's a good lesson for all of us. Even when something seems like a big mountain, a big mountain to overtake, we just need to believe in ourselves, be kind to one another and lend a helping hand and we can do it. As long as we we're nice and we we're kind to one another. <laughs> The Little Engine That Could, retold by Waddy Piper, a Peggy Cloth book. All right, y'all, so maybe today I'm going to try and do something nice for someone else because I think I can. I challenge you to do the same. <laughs> See y'all soon. Bye-bye.